just wanted to show you. I just got my stable cam in the mail. I ordered this thing months ago. I mean, literally months ago. But they were having problems with the uh, very top part of the uh, stable cam. And uh, so they finally got it to me. All right, here's the stable act uh, camera thing working. <clears throat> and uh, all I'm doing is holding on to the ring below the camera and between the camera and the uh, and the holder and uh, the weight at the bottom. It I don't know what it's going to look like. I mean, I'm bouncing on this street a little bit. And the fact uh, that uh, gravity is in play here. I'm kind of liking it because if I was to hold the camera, I mean, this is this is me holding the camera or the uh, phone as I drive and not the stable cam. You can see how much it jiggles. And then I just put the stable cam on it and uh, instant stableness happens. I'm liking it. It does sway a little bit at first when you let go of or change hands, but uh, basically it's pretty uh, it's a pretty stable camera. get to the studio and we'll see how it works when I walk into the studio. But as you can see, the mountains look beautiful today. I always love that view. Then up. And uh, I was uh, photographing here in my studio yesterday. In fact, I'm going to have to re-photograph because the pictures were just a little blurry. And so I've got to uh, my uh, camera equipment here, and I've got the the clays that I've uh, stored here. So, in my confined studio here, let me get the camera turned around here. This is what the stable cam looks like. This is the uh, ring that keeps it uh, stable, and that's the weight down there that counterbalances the camera and. Uh, Let's see, I got the box around here somewhere. So now when I talk about one of my clays and I want to show it off, I can do it with a uh, very, fairly sta stable camera. Uh, this is the uh, box that the stable cam came in. And uh, you can see right here the kind of a picture of it with the camera in it. I mean, not a camera, but a phone on it. And that's what it's designed for, is for a phone. And there, of course, is the uh, ring. It took them a while to get the uh, top part that holds the camera to work properly. And we were all patient because we knew that this was a new product that was just coming out. And uh, I can highly recommend it, only because from my own experience of holding a camera, uh, you can get really shaky with these things. All right, well, I'm going to let this go. I've got to get to work on my clay, uh, but I just wanted to show this to you and uh, let you see it. So see it being used, so to speak. So what I'm going to be working on today is photographing this piece. Now the dog is not finished, but uh, that's okay. Um, I'm going to save that for another time to finish it because I'll be showing this in galleries and it'll be giving me something to do is is to work on the. Uh, fur of the dog. Well, I was going to start a sketch, but I realized I don't have any clay. I ran out of clay uh, about a month ago and I just forgot to order it. So I put my order in and I uh, should have it sometime next week. Um, it's just, uh, I just, just want to get started on something. Um, so anyway, So not until next week. And I don't know what day because I don't know how long it'll take them to get the clay here. Um, 
But anyway. Alright, next week sometime. Alright, till next time. Good night.